Hey, so you know when you were a kid and you used to love to make forts? I know that when I was younger, I would love to uh, clean out my closet and create something in the bottom of my closet. Blankets, pillows, and just like pull a lamp in there and make like a little hideaway. And as an adult, yes, I still like it. And my boyfriend loves it. And we have a room outside of our apartment. You come up the stairs, there's a landing, a uh, place where you can hang your coats and take off your shoes. And then there's a door to the apartment, but right to the, uh, on the right side is a little room. And it's a room that, uh, it's just a, a windowless room with a slant wall. And we used to, we've been here for many, many years, and we used to um, use it for a storage room. We would uh, put, you know, supplies in there and, and his paint supplies. And it was just like a, a junk room, actually. We kept it organized. We had shelves in there. But basically, that's all it was, was a junk room. And then I thought, wait a minute. I think we could do something great with this room. And my boyfriend agreed. And uh, we started to hatch a plan of what we wanted to do. And because uh, our apartment is, we don't use a lot of uh, color in the apartment. I mean, we don't use bright colors. Some of these paintings I'm showing you now, they're, it's my own original art. And um, this, is, this is our actual apartment. These are the colors that we normally use. Basically, this is the color scheme that we like, you know, terracotta and we like a lot of plants um, but for the room outside of the apartment we decided that we're gonna go crazy and just really use a lot of color and a lot of patterns and textures and everything in there is DIY and I thought it would be fun to just go a little bit out of my comfort zone as far as uh, the aesthetic and I thought we'll make it really really bohemian and just a, the coolest place to chill out and when people come over we can go in there and we can sit on the floor and it's just a private space and it's a great space because it's right outside of the apartment so we can someone could be inside and if we wanted to go in there um, if we needed our space or we just wanted a cool place to hang out that is the spot. So I'm going to show it to you right now and I will uh, take you there from our living room and I'm just going to, this is the hallway, but this is the actual room. All right. I just want plenty of light in here. So when you come in, now this room has been made over many, many times, but I think this is the final, uh, this is it. We love it like this. Now the walls, I hung a lot of scarves on the walls because the walls are actually carpeted, which I'll show you later. And then I have seating here. I have a small milk crate there with a scarf over it as well and the crazy light bulb and then I hand painted that shade as well. We have a lot of seating, pillow seating and I want to get more light in here. And this carpeting, this rug that I bought is really not something I would ever have in my house. I, I love it. I think it's great. but. I don't usually go that bold, but for this room, I think it's perfect. I have a, this is an actual hookah from Lebanon, and I just put a globe on top that I painted and we put some twinkle lights in there. And we have a little table with some 420 paraphernalia and some of my art. Actually, everything in here, almost everything in here is, uh, all the artwork is done by me paintings and sketches. Now yesterday I repurposed this bureau 
it's a six draw bureau and the draws were they were white and I thought let me do something interesting and different kind of like eclectic boho and fun and I love doing the project and the draws are a little askew so the actual pattern is a little bit uh, off and I think that adds to the charm of it um, I, I really love how it came out and we keep our TV there which is perfect and I have a lamp that I bought at a thrift store of course I think I paid $16 for it but it's, it's really great it's all beaded and I love it and I have a collage I made of all my favorite artists that I took from a book just cut out different paintings and faces that I liked there's a shelf above here with some of my uh, art we do watch TV in here it's great to put in a movie everything is stored in the drawers anything notebooks journals uh, pretty much everything now on this side of the wall and I did want to show you the carpeting see this is a carpeted wall but it is perfect for me to display all my paintings especially the colorful ones that I don't hang in the home because that is not my uh, that's not the color scheme that we have in the house but I do paint uh, with every color of the rainbow I love doing vibrant beautiful paintings with bright colors I do love that so this is the perfect room to house these display these until they get sold and if you swing around there's the doorway we have a uh, curtain we didn't want a door in here because it's so small but we have a nice curtain for privacy and then I have a shelf here that houses some of my favorite items a Buddha cards that uh, mean something to me um, and that's a sketch that I did and another one that I did another painting I did with a nice scarf on the wall um, and I like this particular scarf that I hung nature peace and so I'll swing around this way and take a look this way and of course we've got the crazy rug with medallions it's, it's nice I like it and it's just so incredibly cozy in here especially at night oh my it's the best light a few candles keep a few of these crazy lights on plop down here grab a journal read a book have a friend over feel very private and what's even more amazing is we have a an inflatable queen-size mattress that actually fits in here perfectly we do have to take out some of the seating but it fits in here and we use it r right around April and May because since there's no windows it has to be the right temperature and um, talk about movie night it's it's the best when the bed is in here oh I love it so just wanted to give you one more shot of the room and it's just really great to have something that um, you can be really really creative with maybe go a little bit out of your comfort zone with color and I do like the boho vibe I like it a lot um, obviously you can see from a lot of my artwork that I do love it
And this is where I will be this evening hanging out.